It's early 2012, and one of the RuneScape developers is fixing a bug related to the smithing house in Yanil. Work like this can be compared to cleaning a box. You take all items out of it, fix whatever the problem is, then put all the items back inside. However, in this situation, the developer left behind the tree that was standing behind the building. When the update went live, the tree was gone. If you've been playing RuneScape for a while, like me, you'll know everything in the game is sacred. Especially if it's got some sort of niche use. The tree, for example, worked like a marker on where to dig when doing a very specific clue scroll. Now that it was gone, the community went into a state of panic, probably not having any idea where to dig, and made a forum post asking nicely to have the tree returned. Meanwhile, in the Jagex offices, community manager mod Emily got an inside joke going on with content developer mod Timbo. Emily kept teasing Timbo with the recent updates and blamed every bug and mistake on him. She walks up to him in the office and tells him that he did it again, and this time he removed a tree. Without giving it a second thought, and despite not being the developer behind this kidnapping, Timbo goes full-heartedly into it and immediately claimed responsibility on the forums, apologizing for accidentally removing it and promised to add it back in. And thus began the meme of the famous Timbo tree. When the tree was replaced on the 20th of March 2012, it was added as a dead tree with the examine text Never let Mod Timbo near a thing of beauty. If you cut it down, the examine text would say Timbo. As a nice easter egg, the tree was left alone for now, and Jagex's developers had learned never to mess with a tree ever again. That is, until the 12th of October 2015, when also a tree in Varrock was removed. The tree was commonly used together with the Jack of Trades aura, meaning it didn't take long for the missing tree to get noticed. Aware of Timbo's reputation, fingers were pointed, and Timbo yet again took responsibility, shielding the anonymous Jmod who had actually committed this crime. The player Yoxol stood up as the protector of trees and challenged Timbo to a one-on-one -on -one battle to the death. This turned into something of a community event, garnering the attention of the Reddit and Twitter communities. They all turned up to the fight with end familiars to play on the joke of the tree killer himself, but this show of force wasn't enough to beat Timbo, who won pretty easily. On the 9th of November 2015, the Varak tree was replaced with a tree sapling holding the examen text protected by the order of King Rowald. Over the next week, the tree went through a new stage with every game update, going from tree to deceased and eventually dead. The King of Varrock even had some dialogue referencing the tree. When it finally was fully grown on the 22nd of February 2016, it still took another month until the fence around it was removed, and the examen text changed to You can faintly make out some words engraved in the trunk. Timbo was here. Ever since then, Mod Timbo has been notoriously blamed for any tree-related opted and bug, from trees combining with each other to Timbo joking about the entire ordeal. Some people are even specifically calling out Timbo to update the tree graphics or even remove trees that are in the way. During the 2016 special event charity auction, a player donated $143 to have a tree planted by Timbo named after themselves in the Jagex office, just showing how far this joke went. In 2021, a double tree was spotted in relation to the Easter event southeast of Varrock. This one was never removed, now that Jagex finally learned their lesson and decided not to touch the growing wildlife on Gilinor's surface.